friends. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Boca Strong. These are stories of inspiring community leaders, business owners, right here in our own Boca Raton community. As we navigate these unprecedented times, we thought it might be a nice idea to keep some positive and inspiring stories out there in circulation for all of us to enjoy. So today I am here with an awesome golf pro, one of my personal favorite people, Mr. Jess Frank. Jess, thank you for coming on our show, Boca Strong. Well, Rochelle, thank you so much for having me. This is, uh, you, what you're doing is fantastic. Absolutely a treat to have you here. My pleasure. So, yes. let's call out the elephant in the room, shall yeah. we? Yes, we So, should. effective just a couple of days ago, broke my heart, friends, all golf courses in Palm Beach County, public, private, yeah. you know, I mean, I suppose, I actually was at a property last week where there was a par, uh, par three hole yes. on the grounds. It was like a five acre property. <laughs> that is the only golf hole that is open in Palm Beach County, okay? It's out at Horseshoe <laughs> Acres. See that one on Tuesday tours. Yeah. Anyway, but I digress. Yes. Literally, to, to be serious, right. all golf courses are closed. Yes. All practice facilities are closed. Yes. You're an independent contractor who offers yes. golf lessons yes. to make your living. Yes, so uh, I have been closed out here for the last week. Uh, like you said, I, am, I, own, I own, my own my own golf academy, Jess Frank Golf Academy at Deer Creek Golf Club. And, um, you know, obviously uh, with the, uh, what's happened with the virus and the shutdown, it's affected not only me, but the entire golf community across the country and it's really a, a sad situation um, you know because a lot of people are losing their jobs and um, you know just it's 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 a very challenging time but like anything challenges uh, breed opportunity absolutely and, and challenges give you the chance to kind of reset and reboot where you're where you are in your business and so I'll tell you I'm hearing that yep. from all of the like most successful most positive people that I know yes those people are all saying, okay, we're taking this as an opportunity to regroup, right. reset, and then of course, to lay the foundation. I talked with, I've talked with so many just such inspiring business leaders in our local community that are saying, I'm taking the time now that I don't normally have right. to sort of lay a foundation for what I plan to build yeah. After the curve is over, the economy, you know, has a chance to come back. Yeah, so I, I'm looking at this as a as an opportunity. Um, you know, it's a challenge, but it's an opportunity as well. And uh, basically, kind of how I'm approaching it is that I'm just going about my daily business um, without giving one-on-one -on -one golf lessons. Mm -hmm. Like I normally post on social media, I normally network. I'm continuing both of those, and so. Um, yeah, while I'm not giving a one-on-one -on -one golf lesson, um, I'm doing it creatively. And well, I'm, you're I'm, doing what you do, yes. which is smart. Right. As a matter of fact, you're being humble because I happen to know that you got called out, like you got acknowledged <laughs> big time from a big time dude, yes. Will Robbins of yes. RxG, yes. right? It's yeah, a huge, yeah, yeah. Uh, for my friends, yes. Will Robbins, RGX. Yes, RGX, yep. RGX Marketing. Yep huge okay this is a company that teaches golf pros how to market themselves right. and their services and right. what did he say he said uh, he loved what I was doing and he said uh, he said that you know instead of crawling in a hole Jess is out there you know preparing for the future and so will is kind of like a you know a mentor of mine I, I love to see what he's done he went through a, a major tragedy and he used that to reset his business yes. uh, he actually uh, survived a tsunami and so, and so this is kind of our own tsunami, what's going on right now in the business world, professional and personal. I think the difference today is that we're in an era where with social media, digital marketing being what it is. I mean, the thing that Will Robbins acknowledged you for was your consistent videos that yeah. you push out, consistently doing Facebook and Instagram lives and yeah. keeping yourself front and center and actually yeah. providing value, right? Yes. So it's not like you're up there saying, uh, I don't know, here's a picture of my lunch. Yeah. You're showing people ways to keep their golf game yeah. strong, yeah. something that obviously yeah. your your viewers and followers well, care about. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge follower of uh, a lot of um, uh, inspirational speakers, like Zig Ziglar mm -hmm. was kind of like a, uh, you know, I, I never met the man, but I always watched his videos, and he was somebody that said, just put out value. You know, yes. if you know If you know something and you can teach it, 
put it out there, put out the value. It really successfully. Yeah. Let's you. do this. Okay. Let's bring some value right now awesome. to our friends out there awesome. in Boca Raton. You guys like some value? <laughs> You're welcome in advance. Yeah, absolutely. Let's give our viewers like three tips because you, you're successfully executing in a major way on social media and YouTube. You Thank have you. a large number of subscribers, a big following, it, high level of engagement. Yeah. I learn a lot yeah. by watching you. <laughs> well, it's a different you. industry, right? Real yeah. estate, but a lot of the we tenants can, are the same. Yeah, and we can learn from each other too. And exactly. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, I would say three ways that number one, you always want to be consistent. No matter okay. what you do in your business, okay. you always want to be consistent. So posting on right now, posting on a daily basis is okay. super important. I would say you want to post at least one piece of content um, on all your channels, every single every day. single day, every one single piece day. of content, yeah, all yeah, your yeah, channels. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I would say I would say the next thing you want to do is definitely um, bring value, like you said. Yes. Use what you've learned. Like okay. this is this is something like like I I'm grateful for all the people that come to me and take lessons. Like you know I become friends with them. I you know we build relationships. We're grateful for you yeah. too. I mean you should see I can chip after I see him. Other than that. <laughs> well thank you thank you. But uh, but um, but yeah I I would say just bring bring high level value. Like now is the time for you to dig into your research and dig deep into what you know and learn something new. Mm -hmm. And so anytime you learn something new, go ahead and share it. You yes. know, don't be afraid to, you know, don't think you have to keep it all to yourself. You know, go ahead and share it out. Okay. And number right. three. Yes. So the third tip of social media is that just be yourself. Mm. You know, you don't have to put on a show. That one never gets old. No, you just, you just, you know, just be who you are. Speak like you're speaking to your best friend, you know, giving them advice or giving whatever type of uh, business you're in, you know, speak about what you know and just just be relaxed, be comfortable. Not a lot of people get are comfortable in front of a camera mm -hmm. or public speaking, mm -hmm. but just, you know, just do it, you, you know, don't worry about, you know, the results. Don't worry about um, you know, how it looks or how you think you sound. Um, just put it out there and okay. let the market judge for itself. So recapping, yeah. number 1, yeah. Consistency. Consistency. Once Absolutely. a day on each platform. Absolutely. And number two. Yeah. Bring value. Bring value yes. to your yep. followers. Yep. Okay, Absolutely. that's important. And number three. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. And that will. And that will All of those are that, fantastic. That will help you, and also it will make you a better business person because you start to research it and you start to like find out maybe different things you didn't know about your business. So it can point. benefit yourself as well, not only the consumer and not only your fans out there in social media world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, your wife's a teacher, right? Yes. The saying is, if you can explain it to a child, yeah. you've mastered it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. right? So it's like, you know, you may think you know yeah. something, but you really have to know it deep in your bones to be able to educate another human being about it. Absolutely. So that's a great point that you make. Yeah. I haven't well, heard you. very many people say that. Well, you know, I just, uh, you know, like I said, I, I have fun. With, also, I have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. All right, sure. bonus. Little yep. asterisk. Can we get some on screen and asterisk <laughs> yes, bonus? Yes. Have fun with it. Absolutely. Extra credit, there number four, yep. have fun. We like that. For sure. And, and in times like these, it's important, I think, to have fun and to yes. keep a positive attitude. Yeah, absolutely. Because again, like I said before, we're going to get through this. Yes. We always do. Absolutely. It's the United States of America. The world is hopefully working together. So one of the things I keep hearing, you know, as you yes. know, I primarily work in a couple of golf yes. communities. Yes. Yes. And uh, my clients tend to be golfers. Beautiful country. They're really concerned about losing their game. Yes. So I know for myself, even just in the normal day to day, I get busy, I don't play for a couple of weeks. I go back out there and it's like, I wow, it's tough. Yeah. So for people who are accustomed to playing regularly, yes. they're really concerned about this. Yeah deterioration well, of the game, yeah. seeing as how golf courses are going to be closed for a month or more. Yeah, so really some quick, easy things to do. First yeah. of all, take your golf club and just practice your grip, number okay. one, because that's the hardest thing. When you lay off for a while, just putting your hands back on the club uh -huh. is something that you could do really easily sitting in front of the TV. Second thing you can do is go ahead and take your putter and putt in your house. Because okay. putting is always, in short game, is always the first thing to go. It's a very feel-oriented part of the game. So practice putting. On any particular flooring surface? Well, or if you have a putting mat, you know, do okay. use a putting mat. If you have a carpet, use a carpet. Um, you know, Amazon's tile. still open. Yeah, Amazon's so, still open. And a putting I, I rug. Yes, yeah, so you can order a putting green, real simple. Okay. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. And then, and then 
go ahead and, and, and you can go into your backyard or in the front of your house or wherever you can find space and just make golf swings. Now is some of the, now is probably the most perfect time for you to just make a hundred swings a day. And what you can do with that 100 swings a day is divide it amongst your golf clubs. Okay. You know, swing swing 10 times with your But like driver. no ball in play. No ball, just no ball. Practicing just practicing the your, swing. Just air swings uh -huh. and, and, and just making 100 golf swings a day because what that's gonna do, that's gonna help you with your, you know, your golf muscles, your golf memory, and just making swings. Now, if you can put a plastic ball in front of you and mm -hmm. hit a plastic ball, that would be great too. But if you can't even do that, just grab your grab an iron, grab your driver, grab a wedge, and just practice air swings. It's a great a suggestion. Day. I mean, I'm yeah. even thinking of my swing thoughts yeah. and like the finish yeah. and some of those mechanics <laughs> that if I haven't played for a little while, yeah. I get out there and I'm thinking of every yeah. little movement and I end up yeah. doing some really terrible things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so <laughs> off you, the tee. The golf swing happens in a clap of a hand. It happens really fast. Yes. So now is a great time for you to just keep making golf swings. If you want. Uh, to work on what's called what I like to call freezer drills or hold positions, you can do that. You can you can go to the top of your swing and, and feel the feel the top of your swing. You can get into impact and you can go to go to your finish and just just hold those those three positions would probably be pretty good to hold. And then just make like I said, if you can make a hundred swings a day, you're getting a lot of good practice, and you're going to be surprised when you get back out there. Well, that's a lot more practice yeah. than I get, <laughs> like ever. Yeah, I'm thinking a yeah, hundred yeah. swings, like yeah, yeah. Uh, the me my my pre-game routine right. consists of like getting my shoes on really quick. <laughs> oh, do I have time to go to the yeah. range, yay or nay? Yeah, but before now, I even play. But now you're not going to be playing for four and a half or five hours, you know, it's on amazing. a weekend. So yes. you're going to, you know, a hundred swings should take you probably twenty to thirty minutes at the most. Most. Wow. And so I know that will keep you in tune with your game. Great like I said. suggestion though. Yeah. Okay, so to recap, we yeah. have number one. We practice your grip. Practice your grip, hold yeah. the club. Holding the club. Number two. Practice putting. Putt in the house. Absolutely. Get okay. yourself a putting mat. It's uh, so beautiful putting. outside. Like if you could get yeah. the putting mat, I guess you could also like do it outside. Yeah, you could. You're I on mean, a flat if surface. A, if you have a deck or something or you have a flat surface, you can lay a putting green sure. down. Definitely do that. And then the, the And third, then number three yeah. is yeah. these practice swing, like practice, the full make, swing. Make a hundred swings. The air swings. Make a hundred. One hundred air that. swings. Yeah, and that should. That I'm, I'm going to take that like homework. <laughs> Note to right. self: This is I what like I need it. to do. Awesome. All right, great. Well, yeah. Jess, this has been a lot of fun. Absolutely. You're such a positive light in Thank the community, you. and you're so much fun to be around. I really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me and to talk to our community yes. today. Yes, and hopefully and it's going to bring a ton of value in what you're doing. And thank you so much. And hashtag Boca Strong. Yes. Let's keep this rolling and, and keep the positive uh, vibes and the positive momentum going. For thank sure. you. Yeah, so yeah. far people are really responding. Yeah, it's awesome. In it's a an good awesome way. show. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Well, thanks friends for joining us for another episode of Boca Strong. Be sure to follow hashtag Boca Strong to follow our series as we have conversations with inspiring business owners and community leaders right here in Boca Raton. We will get through this together. We just need to consider staying emotionally connected while socially distancing. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>